Good morning. Uh, this is the presentation about uh, computational techniques for two things, data reduction and the data analysis. So Saidi Ali and uh, Dr. Nora Lijuaji. I think as you know that uh, Astronomy is a data intensive science. There, there is a huge uh, volume of data in astronomy. And uh, this is one of the biggest challenges in the current era of technology that we have an exponential growth of data. And uh, this is attributed by the com complexity of comp computational techniques, suitability of the software, large size of the data sets arising from the spectrum distribution, multidimensional nature of data, because uh, uh, <clears throat> there are the volume, the velocity means the speed of data from the sky to the ground, uh, the veracity of data, the <clears throat> variety of data, data format, I mean data format, data comes in different file formats. And also the, the, the nature or the source of data, whether data is observed directly from the space-based or ground observatories. So <clears throat> we need to have the efficient software to perform data reduction and data analysis. At the end of the day, after you have observed the signals from the space, what you need is to analyze data. That is the ultimate target, to analyze and to create a new knowledge. So there are so different software now exist. Uh, and basically in this field, we have two things. Reduction means purification of uh, data and the analysis, understanding or interpretation of data. So <clears throat> DRA, data reduction and analysis software provide a different efficient efficiency based on this aspect. So there are various factors uh, depending on the type of the sky object. You download the data from the star or you get data from the, the comet. You get data from the planet. These, these are different sources, but they differ in terms of the wavelength. We have the data uh, from the X-ray uh, electromagnetic spectrum, uh, optical, infrared, radio astronomy, whatever. So these are different aspects of the data format, data size, and so on. <clears throat> so students, learners, young astronomers find it difficult to choose a suitable software for their dissertation or thesis or data reduction and analysis. This is a very, very challenging area that now you have your data. Which software are you going to opt for? For reduction and for analysis. So the recommendations in this start will help young astronomers, students, to make efficient choice of the efficient choice of the software. So basically, when you download the data from the sky, uh, you observe as the signals. Then the data is downloaded and they recorded in a digital format as the raw data. Raw data means data comes with the science part and it also comes with the calibration part. So you need to clean data. You need to clean data. And the process of uh, data cleaning is, we call it reduction. So you clean the, 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 the data by removing instrumental signature, contaminations, atmospheric effects, noises, etc. You, so that you are reminded with the clean data that you can be able to, to analyze. 
So due to variability in data, different types of software exist. And I think you know most of them. Some of these data are specific to certain data type or specific to certain part of the electromagnetic spectrum or specific to a certain space mission and so on. And some are general. So this is the electromagnetic mag magnetic spectrum. We have data at the radio uh, level, microwave, infrared, X-ray, gamma rays, and so on. So as I've said, some of these data are specific, I mean, some of these software are specific and some of them are for the general purpose. So one of the very common software, the HIASOFT, the High Energy Astrophysics Software, this is the NASA based software, and it supports most of the F tools. And I myself use this for the X-ray analysis. It is scalable. You can integrate with other undiscovered or and, uh, undeveloped missions. So it is scalable, it can be integrated. It is a mission specific, uh, mission specific calibration and analysis tools for the new mission can be added in this software. F tools is a part of uh, here soft, but also there are the HERA. HERA is the special server, which is internet or web accessible to allow you to run your code or programs directly from the, from the HERA server. So you don't need to install it offline, but you can install offline the here soft also, you can run your program directly from the HERA station. We have IRFWA, the Image Reduction and the Analysis Facility, IRF. This is multi-purpose software. You can use this for the optical astronomy, infrared, ultraviolet, and X-ray data. So you as uh, astrophysics students, if you are going to do analysis in uh, optical, astronomy or infrared or x-ray, you can opt this IRAF. It is a freely open source based software. You can download and also nowadays, the software is integrated with the Python using the MyRAF and the PayRAF uh, uh, plugins of, uh, of the Python uh, programming language. Well, th this Eclipse is the C-based library software. You can use this also to do some analysis. Uh, I mean, to, to, to do the image reduction and the processing of signals. It is the software that is integrated with the high, higher level programming languages like C++, Java, Python, PEL, and so on. So you can, uh, you can uh, do some kind of data reduction, the fixed files you can do with this Eclipse. We have this DS9, the open source uh, astronomical imaging and the data visualization application. So also this can support the fixed files. So if you have downloaded your uh, signals, they comes with the either tar files in Linux or any other format. But at the end, when you come, when you have the fixed files, then you can use this uh, software to do some kind of uh, uh, data visualization. We have this uh, orbit reconstruction and the simulation and analysis. This is kind of also multi-purpose software because almost all the celestial objects can be analyzed using this. That's why you see there are the asteroids, comets, uh, artificial satellites, solar and the extrasolar planetary systems uh, can, be, uh, can, can be analyzed using this part of the software. We have Python but the specific Astro Python. So this is the special package developed for the reduction of astronomical images. There are special libraries, NumPy, uh, uh, PyFits, NumDisplay. These are the packages or libraries within the Python responsible for a reduction of astronomical images. Also we have the ARA software. This is the very common software for statistics 
So you can also apply, this is the general software, but also you can apply, like you can apply Excel, for example, for the astronomy data analysis. So once you have the fixed file, you can go on with ARA. We have this astro image uh, used for astronomical image analysis and a precise photometry. So you can do image calibration and data reduction using this software. It's a cross platform. So you can use in window, in Linux, and any other operating system. It also supported the fixed file. So once you have your data in the fixed files, then you can use software to go on with the uh, analysis. <coughs> TopCat, the tool for operations and the catalogues on catalog, uh, catalogues and in tables. This is the interactive graphical analysis tools. Uh, also, you can use this one either offline. You can apply this on the virtual observatories. So TopCat also works with the FITS file. So I'm trying to emphasize on this part. It's a very challenging part. Once you have your data in the FITS file, also, you can apply the software for analysis. Uh, Space Telescope Science Data Analysis System. This is also for the reduction and ana analysis of the astronomical data. It is uh, integrated with the IRF. So once you know the IRF, you can install the STS DAS to, to, to work for the analysis. Sherpa, uh, this is special for the X-ray. So if you are research, if you are research is going to apply X-ray data, don't waste time. You can opt the specific, that's why I have told you that there are the general software and the specific software. So this is special for the X-ray analysis. Uh, we have this theory for reduction of astronomical images. The main focus for this is optical, astronomy. So if you are going for the optical astronomy, this is the best package also to integrate with the other software. You can go on with your analysis. We have the PROS post reduction offline software. This is the multi-mission X-ray analysis. Also, it operates under IRAF. So once you have the IRAF, you can install PROS. And if you do the X-ray analysis, this is one of the best software for X-ray analysis. <clears throat> we have this one, a, a software by the European Southern Observatory. This is the general for image processing and the data reduction on the astronomical uh, applications. So <clears throat> you can use this one for the data reduction at the data reduction stage. IDL, the interactive data language. This is the programming language that is very useful once you have your, you, you want to do the analysis. So you can also apply this. Uh, <clears throat> you can use it at the graphical interface or the command line interface to do data visualization and analysis. So there are so many software in the market. What is the point? The point is you can't be expert of everything. So you have to choose one software and be expert of it. This is my recommendation. There are so many softwares, like in the Wedi processing, you can have Microsoft Wedi, uh, OpenOffice Wedi, and the uh, Wedi Perfect, and so on. Internet, you have Mozilla, Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, and so on. But you, you, you choose one uh, browser, which is convenient for you. So my recommendation, if you want to do some X-ray, X-ray, and you are not sure of what is coming in the next, go to the here software, the general purpose software. But IRAF is a software that uh, I think is better for everyone to, to know it because it covers data reduction and it covers data analysis. And it, it can apply for the optical, infrared, ultraviolet, and X-ray data analysis. So IRAF, uh, ORSA for analysis of any sky object. This is the advantage of ORSA. Any sky object can be analyzed using this one. Uh, Python also is good for the data reduction and analysis, and it's linked with the DS9. 
So it's better to, to know Python uh, together with the DS9. Uh, so uh, we have this uh, summary of recommendations, top cut analysis for if you have the fixed file, uh, as I've said, you can use this one, pros for the X-ray analysis and so on. So uh, this is just a, a summary of what we are doing now. We are conducting a research, me and Dr. Jiwaji, we are conducting a research to analyze these different astronomical software. And we are trying to see which one best at which application so that we can come up with a very simple user guide for our young astronomers to help them to, uh, to analyze uh, their data and uh, reduction of the data and, and so on to help you for your dissertation or thesis and the other analytical work. So uh, thank you all for uh, your activeness. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm done. Maybe if there is any question from the audience, students. Yeah. If there is any yes. I was, I was muted. Yes. I see Obonyo. Is he in the? Is he in the room? Yes. Yes. I just wanted to point out that uh, I didn't see Casa, which is a software for reducing radio astronomy data. Radio, but it's okay. fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think what is important is that uh, in our region, we conduct systematic uh, schools of uh, training students in mastering these uh, softwares because they are very, very important. Even if we are talking about telescope, but if students are not uh, aware or they don't, use, they don't know how to use properly these uh, uh, tools, uh, they will not produce good results. It's better we, we undergo systematic uh, training, uh, systematic schools. I think this, uh, in this workshop, we had, uh, we had the fourth to organize a school, but due to COVID, I think it was uh, postponed. Hopefully it will be, uh, it will be also organized. 